thank God for our pastor, Bishop Milton R. Hawkins, whom I've known since he was a kid. You all may sit, because do all, before I do all the formal stuff, I just talk. <laughs> I used to go to Detroit when Bishop and I were first married. And that young man standing behind me used to worry me to death <laughs> in love. He stayed in my room until mother had to say, boy, get out of there. He played with my fingers. He thought everything I had was okay, especially my cheeseburgers. He loved my cheeseburgers. He came to my home, he would come every summer, and he would write little envelopes and on the back, before he gets home, he would be ready to come back. So I've known him as a kid and I, I honor him as our pastor. Sister Kathy, I love and I honor you too. And to all of the men and women of God who make up this household of faith. I honor today my son, Bishop Anthon White. Stand up, Bishop Anthon. He pledged when Bishop died. He said to Bishop, as I was with you, I will be with Sister Patterson. And I can say of a truth, that when I was down, 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 didn't know what to do, Dr. Wallace, because I was in a place I'd never been in before. That young man helped me. I'm kind of reminiscing a little bit on today. Dr. Wallace, I will never forget the countless hours that you spent with my husband. He wanted him to be healed in God's way and through herbs. Every herb you could name, Dr. Wallace brought it to the house. And Bishop trusted him so that he tried every last one of them. So it's just a gamut of people that I could thank at this time, certainly Sister Mary. We've never been sister-in-laws. We've always been sister. I appreciate you, Sister Hawkins, and I commit myself to you as long as I'm here. I'm also glad to have a big portion I can kind of do what I want to do today, can't I? <laughs> a big portion of my family here today, and I'd like for them to stay, and I, I have family, have a lot of family, but they've had certain things to happen in their lives that cause them to have to leave and do certain things. I want my family to stay, and I'm so glad, praise God, to have you here on today. And I thank God for all of you. Now, if you want me to be up a long time, just mention G.E. Patterson. Before you all knew it, I told you, I told you that G.E. brings, didn't I tell you the truth? His light is still shining. Thanks be unto God for his goodness and his mercy. The things that he's provided for all of us are just countless. Basically, salvation through the word of God from the lips of the man of God is the reason most of us are here. And I thank God for that. This is not to say that this won't go on, but today I'm just talking about GE. I thank God for this opportunity and I'm certainly thankful for what we are embarking upon. I tell you, I tell you, a trip to Washington, D.C., to go there and to, at a time, such a momentous occasion for the opening of the National Civil Rights, not Civil Rights, African American History and Culture, it is indeed an honor. It's history, people of God. This is history. That monument will be there. Nobody can take it away. God did it. Praise the name of Jesus. God did it. And we dare not, we dare not let little petty things cause us to say, well, I'm not going. I'm sorry I got my ticket because I don't know whether I can get in. How small can you be? You cannot allow that. Do you not know? What has happened to us? Out of 30 some thousand people who applied to get in Smithsonian, 
in this display, there will be maybe about 4,000 persons that are going to be honored. One of those 4,000 people is Bishop G.E. Patterson. <laughs> Praise the name of Jesus. Nobody could do that but God. He was not special, and I didn't pay not a whole lot of money. I didn't pay any money. God did it. So allow yourselves to be the happiest people in the world. Throw your head back. I'm temple of deliverance, church of God in Christ. The cathedral of bountiful blessing. And my pastor is Bishop G.E. Patterson, a man of God who served honorably. We want to be the first ones there to say, if I can't get in, when you talk to your grandchildren or even to your own self, say, if I couldn't get in, I was there. I was as close as I could get. Now, don't worry about me. I make my own way. Don't, don't have, no, have no pity for me. And I thank God for the life that I've tried to live, that I am respected in the way that I am respected. I have something here I want to share with you. You all may be seated. This was my invitation. Rhonda, come here and open it for me, please. That I was sent personally from Smithsonian. It was an invitation to the preview of the museum. This is an honor. Few people have it, so don't think that they're treating me mean and putting me back on the back burner. There is no back burner for me. I make my own space. You don't have to make a seat for me. I make my own space. You got to learn how to stand in who you are. I'm a child of the king. You can stand in the same steps that I stand in. If I didn't make it in there, Sister Kathy, doesn't make me any difference. The big picture is Bishop G. Patterson is in there. Learn to look at the big picture. Saints, learn to look at the big picture. I wanted to say this because I heard some very disparaging things. People go on, I said, Memphis is bad. They mad because they can't get no seat. Who do you think you are? Cycle, what sacrifice have you made? There are people in there on this play, this play who made tremendous sacrifices. And their people are not there. And perhaps they won't get a chance to get in there to see Mr. Obama. I praise God for Mr. President Obama. But I praise God for God being God and for doing what he's done. And it's marvelous in our sights. So learn. Just learn how to be thankful and not to grumble. There are circumstances, there are things that happen to you when you grumble. You can grumble yourself out of heaven. Just ask the children of Israel. Grumbling and murmuring is not good. So you learn how to take this moment in joy and know that God has done a wonderful thing for us. We will go down in history when all of us are gone. The legacy of Bishop G.E. Patterson and the work that he did through Jesus Christ is going to be there an unlimited time as far as I know. There are many of his artifacts that will not be on display. You couldn't put everything, but they will go to different, let me back back, I didn't know that there were 18 Smithsonian buildings. I didn't know that. So they will go into different places. But I said this, if there's nothing there to represent him but a toothpick, be happy. Be happy he's in there. Praise be unto God for his wonderful works in our lives. And at this day and time, I appreciate you for your kindnesses toward me. I really, really do. And I thank you and I love you Temple of Deliverance, you are my life. I don't know anything else. Well, I know something else, but I choose to know God better. <laughs> no need me saying I don't know anything else because I do. But I choose to live the life that I live. And I praise God for you all helping me to live longer. The deacons and all the people, some of these folk, I knew before they came here. And I've seen what God could do since they've been here. Through the life 
and legacy. Those of you who were saved on the bishop's ministry, would you stand, please? Those of you who got to know God in a better way, this, these are living epistles read of men, and that's what it's all about. It's not about a man. It's about the Word of God still living on this earth. So praise be unto God for you, and I hope that those of you who are going to Washington will go, whether it's now or later, that you would enjoy what God has done in our lives. God bless you. Come on, let's give it up.
is right for a miracle. Lord is right for a miracle. When your back is against the wall and you feel you are about to fall. You're just right for a miracle. Inside, it doesn't want 
been on the outside and all on the chain has been in my life.
of the Lord will make a way. Yes, he will.
Lord will. Yes, He will. Oh, I know the Lord will make a way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, He will. Yes, He will. Oh, it is no secret what God can do. What He's done for us. He'll do the same thing for you. Oh, I know the Lord. We'll make a way. Oh, yes, He will. Hey, he will. Hallelujah. Yes, He will. Come on, put your hands together. Let's give God a hand of praise. Come on, let's bless God. Will he make a way? Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Will he make a way? Oh, yes, he will. Yes, he will. We certainly give honor to God on today. Amen? Amen. We give honor to our pastor, Bishop Milton R. Hawkins, and to our guest, Bishop Anthon White. But today is Founders Day. Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe, maybe you all don't know who I'm talking about. But I'm talking about the legendary Bishop G.E. Patterson. Now that's, we might as well give it to him. If he haven't impacted your life, then I can understand. But Bishop Patterson has impacted everyone's life he's came in contact with. And guess what? Even if he didn't come in contact with you, you heard him by radio. And I'm sure he has impacted your life. Am I right? Let's give it to him. Bishop G.E. Patterson, the founder of Temple of Deliverance, Bountiful Blessed Ministries. Certainly thank God for him. Amen. God bless you.